Okay, we're back live here in Orlando for IBM Edge uh, 2012. We're here with Joseph King with CAS Sovereign, your solutions architect, uh, with John MacArthur, my co-host this morning. Um, we're going to hear the perspective of what's going on, the real deal, what's happening in the trenches. So, Absolutely. Uh, first, tell us, one, what do you think about the event here with IBM and um, this kind of new face for storage? What do you think about it? Well, I think you know it's really important in my role as uh, I run our entire pre-sales uh, consulting group. And, and so this was able to get together not only my architects and and, uh, and solution providers, but you know, also all of our sellers. And we're able to get into one event along with our customers, instead of them being parted out, which is really how it was before. Uh, either it'd be you know, sales training, there'd be separate technical training, you know, separate customer events, and, and really bringing that all together was very important for us. If you take it another step, it, it, it's really taking the storage-centric software, the TPC and TSM, for us, which is very important to our business, and bringing that into the event also, on top of just the, uh, we'll call it the, the, you know, the hardware. And, and that's, you put that all together, and, and Edge has been a tremendously successful event. It's something we've been asking for as a partner for, you know, for many years, and we're just you know, glad that IBM it's, took it that seem, direction. It seems to be aligned more with how you guys are working. Absolutely. You're not like in a silo, just storage. Storage is a component of a completely new use cases for your customer base. Can you talk about your your environments as you talk to customers? What's the new expectations for customers these days? Well, if you take a look at what the expectations for customers are, you know, it's really, it, it, it's quaint, because we know we call it solution selling, but, it, but it, honestly, that's really what we, you know, really what we've done, and it's when CS Severin's DNA. And so you take a look at you know pulling together storage isn't bought in a silo. It's not bought in a vacuum. And and uh, you know what we're you know seeing is bringing in that uh, you know that integration so you know folks can understand you know things like their data analytics. You know their performance of uh, you know of that has been very important. And you take a look at you know an organization like us and and then wrapping in the innovations in storage. How does that affect um, you know software? How does that affect you know, the performance and maintaining that performance profile that's, you know, really important to our customers and, and it helps them do their business. And and so, you know, you know in the end, it, that's really, you know, what the... On the uh, solution cell that customers are looking for right now, obviously, storage is not going away. Oh, it's no, no. It's changing storage. <laughs> I mean, data's, I mean, we just heard, da you know, backup and recovery and data protection is just booming still. Absolutely. And that never, never is going to go away. What is the number one thing you're hearing from customers right now? What are they asking for? Is it cloud? Is it big data? Is it consumers, that consumerization of IT with mobility? Data protection. What, what, you know, Absolutely. What? Well, I think the, the the really the main thing that you know I've been talking about with folks and customers have really been demanding, and this has really been going on for about two years, is honestly drastic simplification. Uh, you know, they've really built up an overly complex environment of a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and 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 really breaking down that complexity and and bringing in some mass simplification has been very very important for you know for our customers. How uh, far does that go? So so. You know, the, the, in, in large organizations, you've got a storage administrator. In medium-sized organizations, you may not have someone specifically with that title. You may have an application or network administrator. Are we getting to the point where an application administrator is actually managing storage in large organizations? Are you still get? Is it? Well, I think that what we're seeing is is that um, storage is a lot more top of mind within uh, the upper IT management, and 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 really that culture of of having a um, a sustainable, you know, storage architecture is really pushed down to the entire organization, and and so when we're out with, you know, with customers, for, you know, for instance, you know, the database administrators that you know maybe running say a PeopleSoft uh, ERP system, you know, you know, basically are going to demand that they be able to maintain their performance profile. Yeah, they're going to do that any way they can. And so what we've worked with a lot of our customers is to make sure that they all don't go off in their separate directions, that we don't have you know, the application team attempting to design their own, you know, their, you know, their own uh, 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 solution, and you don't have the hardware team off doing their thing. And, and that's really the role of what we've been doing at CS Severn is to, to bring all the people together to be able to set a sustainable strategy up over, a, you know, may, maybe it's immediate, maybe it's an immediate benefit, uh, maybe it's something that is going to come into play over multiple years, and and that's really what we've been you know working towards uh, doing with our uh, with our customers. And so, so you brought some of your customers down here with absolutely. you this week. Any surprises for them? Any like aha moments? 
for them. After I mean, the Solutions uh, uh, Center was open last night. Absolutely. And they heard a lot of talks. What, what did they take away from it? So it's interesting. The, the number one, I would say that, that, that what they were most excited about, which you know we've been waiting for for a very long time, was you know active data compression on uh, the V7000 and SVC. You know this is something you take a look at. You know in, in the Sarah Hospital, uh, you know customers, th that dramatic storage savings is is going to allow them to really shift their spend and be able to, you know, to be able to innovate a, across a larger amount of the, of their uh, of their uh, solutions that they need to be able to provide and and. And so compression has really been the big thing. I think the other one is, is you know, IBM's commitment to, you know, to continue to innovate in their software. And, and so we have a number of folks here that are very interested in things like TPC, and they're really glad that from, you know, from a storage performance management that they're able to get you know, something that showed very well. You know, TPC's so, already so, been able so to get TPC, the job done, so, but, it, but it never looked good. And now, okay, and now, so and now is it that really... What's, is that what's different? Because, I mean, TPC's been around Absolutely. for a very long time. Absolutely. Is it, is it that we've gone from, uh, which, which we've substantially improved the user interface? Absolutely. Is, well, well, a couple of things. So if you take a look at, it's usability and user interface design are key. So if something is difficult to use, you're going to get that, that, that culture of uh, almost standoffishness that they're not going to want to embrace it, even though it might get the job done. And so you take a look what IBM has done in interface design through things like the XIV, the V7000, the SVC, now you know TPC, is if we can break down that complexity of something simple, which seems so quaint to us with interface design, you know, we can you know, make a product much more usable and when it's much more usable, they're going to be they're going to use it, is, and 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 that's really for us is what we see is a major benefit of the of really the dramatic spend that IBM's done, in in doing innovation and in something which, you know, f, you know for us in the field just it, it seems like a natural progression, and we're really happy to see it, and, and it's something that we've been very excited about, and it's and it's really changed. Uh, you know that culture of uh, you know IBM out there in the, in the storage community for our customers, where uh, you know they know that they're going to get something that's very usable, uh, and that's going to have a very high performance profile, and, and for them that, that that's very important. Yeah. You've you've uh, been in the application development space. How important is that in your business in your overall sort of relationship with your customers? Oh, it's critical. You know, if you take a look at uh, the the application development work that CS Severn does, is really what you know helps drive our data center innovation that you know that we do. One really comes with the other, and and so you take a look at. Uh, whether you know large federal projects that uh, you know that we work on, where we're you know integrating you know you know 10, 15 different Tivoli products together to be able to you know to be able to you know, provide dashboards of of uh, business operations uh, to uh, you know to uh, to the end users, you know that has to run on something. And so the end, you take a look at that innovation that we're able to provide on the software side, and something that could be as simple as software integration. Um, you know, really helps drive what we're doing in the data center, uh, and 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 so they really play off each other. And so, from you know, from a CS Severn standpoint, one doesn't exist without the other. And and that's really you know, through our 35 years, that's been you know, very very important. And and it continues to you know to drive our growth. And it, it's it's something that we're going to we're absolutely going to continue to focus on. So you want IBM to do this again next year? Oh, absolutely. Sure. It, it's a. Uh, you know, if you take a look at uh, you know at an event like this, you know we can see that uh, you know IBM can take this event uh, and grow its scope and stature. You know, you take a look at this is the first year. Yeah, I know that I'm going to go back. You know, get with my customers that weren't able to make it, and and uh, quite honestly, you know, get out and do a little cheerleading. Yeah. Because yeah, I think there's a you know the density of education is phenomenal. Yeah. Do you, uh, so EMC World was last week, Absolutely. and that was a huge event. Did you go? No, no. Okay. We, yeah, I no, know you're not an EMC partner, right? No, no. But, we, but you, you know, are we an HP some, partner. Yeah, we are. And I think that, you know, you take a look at, you know, IBM is where our bread and butter is, okay. uh, is where our bread and butter is at. It, and, and so you, you take a look at events like, you know, like EMC World, and you take a look at events like Edge. Now, what happens if you took Edge and you put it together with Pulse and you put it together with IOD, you know, and whatnot? You'd have them. Massive, right. you know, event. I think what's nice here is if you take a look at the at our customers that have um, uh, a storage, 
you know, focus, and this could be storage focus from an integrated system standpoint on moving towards pure systems, or it could be just a, you know, just a straight, um, you know, storage focus. You know, they're able to come into an event like Edge. They're very able to get some very targeted, in some cases, very advanced and very deep education. And, you know, for them, they're able to then to go back to their shops, be able to implement some changes to transform, you know, their organization. So I know that, uh, you know, we're having dinner with a few folks last night. I know that they're going to, uh, you know, go back to their uh, to their uh, facilities on on uh, on Monday and, and really you know start putting uh, pen to paper on how are they going to transform you know their organization with some of the information that they learned this week. And jo Joseph, uh, final question. We have to break for our next guest, but I wanted to ask you. Uh, obviously, complexity is a big problem. You guys are solving that around Absolutely. around with the customer too, but also for the vendor themselves. IBM uh, has to address that, and, and and so does everyone else. So the question is, what does a vendor like IBM or even HP or anyone who's trying to sell cloud into the cloud mobile social new infrastructure big data all that all the stuff that the customers want to move to what do they have to do to be successful to work with partners in the channel so in terms of if solution selling is the way to go knowing that the landscape's changing what do they have to do to be successful what are the critical success factors I think there's a number of them but let's talk about a couple so one could be just you know consistent messaging you know the fact that when they're talking to the you know to the partner you know community that it's not a very disjointed message and so you know you take a look at what you know IBM has been able to do across you know the social media and their you know Lotus innovation that they've done things like connections and you know moving towards you know how they're communicating us to partners you know IBM has been wonderful at using the technologies that they develop to help you know drive change of communications with us in the uh, in the partner community and and that's been uh, very successful I think the other you know the other one is 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 you know, Customers have to go on a journey. They're not going to be able to eat this all, you know, day one. And so, the um, is providing a you know a roadmap of how are they going to be able to grow into you know this. And it works to it from us as in the uh, you know in the channel to you know to make sure that uh, you know we have to grow into this also. We can't you know ingest every technology day one. And, and so. Um, that education that we get at events like like this was really and it's got to be easy to sell too and throw off some gross profit, uh, the, right? Uh, I mean, there's absolutely. no doubt. There's no doubt. And and I think that IBM, if you take a look at from a program standpoint, and and uh, you know the storage specialty elite program that you know that we're in now, that, you know, helps maintain that uh, you know, profitability profile that we need, you know, to provide that deep level of consulting services that my group provides. And 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 I think IBM's really done a good job of uh, you know helping maintain. Uh, Really, that 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 profit that we need in order to you know, to provide that deep level of service that we do, and it's that service that's before implementation that is a critical factor of a project's success. Okay, Joseph King with CAS Everin, they're out the solutions architect. Uh, solutions selling is a big part of it. IBM is enabling with the storage and their portfolio. Uh, this is the Cube. We are here live in Orlando. We'll be right back with.